gosh, what the heck happened? And why is everything in slow motion? Oh, oh, this must be what it feels like to be pumped full of adrenaline. Okay, our spacesuit is totally wrecked, and we only have a few seconds to survive. How many seconds was it again? All right, pay attention. We will now tackle what happens in the unfortunate scenario when you are left without a spacesuit on the surface of the moon. What? You gotta be kidding! This is a waste of time! Yeah, why would we ever take off our spacesuit while we're on the freaking moon? It'll never happen, Doc. Not in a million years! While I do admit that this scenario is extremely unlikely, it is better to be safe than sorry. Fine, fine, just get this over with quickly so we can get back to the fun training bits. Yeah, like high G-force training. I am learning to fly the space shuttle. First of all, if you ever found yourself without a spacesuit, make sure that you're not holding your breath. What? You're off your rocker. Yeah, Doc, everybody knows there's no air in space, so we need all the oxygen we can get. Ah, but because outer space is a near-perfect vacuum, it has extremely low pressure. Oh, so it's a really powerful household appliance! It must be really clean up there! No, no, it just means that space is nearly devoid of all matter. So, what does that have to do with not holding our breath? When you hold your breath, you create a high pressure inside the lungs. Combine that with the extreme low pressure of the vacuum of space, and the lungs would expand and experience high amounts of tissue damage! Ouch! So what do we do instead? You should breathe in as much as you can in order to properly oxygenate the blood, but breathe out right after so there's no high pressure inside the lungs. And how long would the oxygen in the blood last us? The oxygenated blood will likely sustain Brain for about, no, oh, 10 to 15 seconds before he passes out. Then what happens? Then nothing, it'll be lights out, forever. Okay, so we've got 15 seconds. Wait, how many seconds are left after that flashback? Don't, okay, fine. Also, I'm pretty sure we didn't hold our breath. Yep, there's no air left in the lungs. Sorry, buddies, but that's the way it has to be. Hmm, the lunar lander's not that far, but why the heck do we have just less than 15 seconds? That's cutting it way too close! Doc, why is it just 10 to 15 seconds? I can normally last up to 180 seconds before I pass out from oxygen deprivation. Oh, that's because of ambulism. Exorcism? I knew that space was full of demons out to get us! Wow, spacesuits are more important than I realized! No, ambulism is the formation of water vapor bubbles in body fluids due to reduced environmental pressure. Why does that happen? It's because liquids reach their boiling points at lower temperatures at very low pressures. Imagine your sweat and saliva evaporating at room temperature. That means that the same thing can happen to the blood, which results in the bubbles that will block the oxygen going to the brain. What the heck? Oh, oh, it's just you again, Spleen. Not only that, but the increased water vapor inside your body would cause you to expand. Like a hot air balloon? A bit, yes. And the more time passes, the more you'll expand and we float away. No, you dummy! Neither, actually. What? No way! People blow up when exposed to the cold depths of space in movies and stuff all the time! Don't believe everything you see on TV. Your skin is actually flexible enough to prevent that from happening. Oh, like a defense mechanism. Yes, but I imagine that it would still be... Really, really painful! <laughs> this ebulism is killing me! Gotta fight... Throw it! Spleen is definitely feeling the effects of the bubbles forming in the blood! And... so am I! But there was also something else on the moon I should look out for. What was it? What was it? Another thing to be wary of is radiation. Ooh, here we go! Superpower time! Yeah! 
I can't wait for the gamma rays on the moon to turn us into the Hulk! There are gamma rays, yes. But you will mostly be exposed to galactic cosmic rays. Oh, so we'll be like the Fantastic Four instead! It's clobberin' time! And high amounts of solar radiation, depending on how close you are to the sunny side of the moon. That sounds like a bad case of sunburn! The worst! Temperatures on the moon can reach up to 121 degrees Celsius during daytime! Ooh, that's enough to fry us to a crisp! Ooh. Also, replace you getting superpowers with, you know, cancer. Darn it all! And if we're on the shadowy side? Then you would freeze to death relatively quickly. Temperatures on the shadowy parts of the moon can reach as low as negative 246 degrees Celsius. Then we'd be frozen solid like an ice cream bar! Mmm. Seriously, stomach, cut it out! Ah, <laughs> so hot! And yet, so cold! <laughs> Why the heck did we go to the moon again? This place sucks! So, to recap, if we're left without a spacesuit on the moon, We'd pass out within 15 seconds due to lack of oxygen, Have all of the liquid in our body evaporate, and we'd be burnt to a crisp and be frozen solid? Ugh, I thought the moon would be the most romantic, awe-inspiring place in the universe. But it's actually just a godforsaken nightmare fuel wasteland. Relax, heart. This all sounds terrifying, but again, it'll never happen. And after all, how many people are able to go to the moon? This experience is one in a million! Yeah, this trip is gonna be a blast! Oh, famous last words, brain! Oh, we're not gonna make it! <gasps> Wait, what? We're alive? How the heck did you do that, brain? No idea, liver. But I do know that I want to get off this dead rock ASAP! Yeah! Amen to that! Let's go home! And blast off! Oh, come on! Oh, what a bunch of morons! Oh, no, 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 these numbers don't add up! Think, Brain, think! We need to solve this now! Brain, what numbers? Our budget! To make videos, we need to pay our animators, writers, and voice actors. But the money we earn from ads isn't gonna be nearly enough! Aha! Uh -huh. I think I've got it! Here's what we're going to do! First, we're going to have to sell one of the kidneys! Hey, what the? We invest the money from selling a kidney into an S&P 500 exchange-traded fund, then we could... Brain, we aren't going to sell a kidney. We need to think from the heart. Hmm... Oh, yeah! Hey, you! Look, the truth is, running a channel like this gets expensive. But if we join forces together, we can make Human Buddy huge! That's why we made a brand new Patreon page! You can send us as little as $5 or $10 a month to help us keep making videos. When you join, we'll give you something to say thank you. We'll... uh... We'll give you early access to our videos and special flashcards to help you study. If you believe in our videos, just click on the link in the comments and join the Buddy bunch on Patreon now. Every single one of you, no matter how small, makes a huge difference. Just click right there. <laughs>